Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a general love reading for sign of Aquarius. And keep in mind that this does not resonate for all of you. If you like a personal reading or to donate to the channel, leave a link in the description down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. So, on the bottom of the deck for the overall energy here is going to be the Ten of Pentacles Reverse. What the Ten of Pentacles Reverse represents is instability in relationships. It can represent distance. It can represent commitment issues here as well. It could also be dealing with an, um, with an earth sign, with it being pentacles. It does represent Earth. So, for the past between a new person, you have the Four of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles Reverse. Okay. Yeah. It so feels like someone here was really trying to put in the effort into this relationship. They're really trying to make things stable between you. They're really kind of hoping for that. Or maybe, you know, if you weren't quite with this work person officially. They're kind of hoping for it to get to that next level. Whether that be you or them. I feel like things were peaceful at one point. They were good. Alright, so having a look at their feelings towards you. It's going to be the Five of Swords. The Moon, Cancer Pisces energy. Two of Wands. Person's a very interesting person. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> what it feels like, I don't feel like they show this to you. There's a part of them that, you know, kind of hopes for things to, you know, there's part of them that kind of hopes to be with you, and then there's kind of a part of them that's like, well, I don't think that'd work. I think they're conflicted. Some of you feel like there's something in the way, and with the moon card being here. So I don't feel like they really show you the real them quite fully. Maybe they don't fully express themselves or how they feel. They could also be hiding something from you. That's not for all of you. So let's see. Having a look at your feelings towards them is going to be the Ace of Wands, the Five of Cups. The Hierophant Reverse, Taurus Energy, okay. What's very interesting here is I feel like you don't want to commit to them, or you're not, like, that's why you're being kind of, feels like you might be... Whether this be you or them, this could be their actions towards you, like how you feel they are towards you. But it feels like you're not wanting that, you're not wanting that relationship with them. And that could be because it's something that happened between you. Or maybe you feel like something is going to happen, like something negative. I feel like there's a part of you that... I feel like there's a part of you that wants to grow with this person, you want a new start or a new beginning. There's something here that happened, or you feel like is going to happen, that is kind of making you not want a full-blown relationship with this person. Okay, so having a look at their intentions towards you is going to be the Queen of Wands, that is Fire Energy, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, the Knight of Wands, or is this, this is pentacles, pentacles reverse. Their intentions is to be distant and to watch you from a distance. They're not going to approach you, but they are going to observe you. They are going to kind of look back or feels like just watching you from a distance and not really making a whole lot of action. Having a look at your intentions towards them is going to be the Wheel of Fortune, 
the Four of Swords of Hers, the Queen of Swords of Hers. This is your own energy here. Yeah, so there's like a part of you that kind of wants things to improve between you, wants things to get better, but then there's a part of you that kind of like thinks it's better that you two are on break or there's a break between you. Like it's better for you to be distant. Okay, so having a look at the outcome between you, it's going to be the Death card, Scorpio Energy, the Star card, Aquarius Energy, your own energy here, with the King of Swords. Okay. Aquarius. This is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you are going to be in your own energy. You're going to be focusing on yourself here. Not too much on this person. Feels like you may be cutting them out or distancing, them, distancing yourselves from them. Um, kind of releasing them. Just kind of focusing on you is what it feels like. Yourself. So let's see. Let's have a look at the messages for you. You have number 30 with Judication. Judication. Solitude, big goals, summer, control, finances and career, love yourself first, and trust. Okay. So with this card here, what it can represent is it can represent things with court, law, judges. And it's kind of like a 50-50. Like it's at neutral right now. So it could go in your favor or it could not. That, that can be something else in your life. That can represent something in this relationship. It's going to be different for all of you and what exactly that is. But what I feel like it's telling you here, Aquarius, is to really love yourself first. Put, like, put yourself first, okay? Take some time out to yourself and kind of focus on your career and your goals, your success. There's also something with the season of summer here. I don't know if that's upcoming or if that's past energy. Something happened or is going to happen on summer. But yeah, that is the messages for you. And don't try to force things with control being here. Alright, so Aquarius, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye guys.